Okay, it's 730 and we do have a quorum. Uh, Andy, if you'll read the statement of open appeal. I, the undersigned clerk of the Board of Education of one of the school district I-3 of Woods County, Oklahoma, do hereby certify that prior to December the 15th of the last calendar year, the date, time, and place of this regular scheduled meeting was filed in the office of the county clerk of Woods County, Oklahoma. If any change has been made to the date, time, or place of this regular scheduled meeting, proper notice and writing, writing has been given to the county clerk as required by law no less than 10 days prior to implementation of said date. I also certify that at least 24 hours prior to the, to the meeting, excluding Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays, the time, date, and place of, and agenda of this meeting was posted in prominent public view. At the location of this meeting, witness my hand and seal of this school district the second day of November 2015. Right. Here. Clint. Here. Tom. Here. Andy. Here. I'm here. Any visitors' comments? Uh, opening of bids for the construction of the new livestock barn. We received one bid. bid from Axeman LLC of Weatherford, Oklahoma. Uh, that's Darren Drawman and Larry Alexander. They have a bid for $108,500. That's the 30 by 120 foot slab, four inch thick, uh, number five rebar on 16 inch centers, 30 by 120 barn with single gable roof, 112 pitch, engineered by Mueller Buildings, uh, one inch sprayed insulation, and one inch cell spray foam insulation on the lean-to. Uh, it's 1810 boat receptacles, interior, four exterior, uh, T8 lighting system, interior and exterior, Plumbing, standard spigot for wash rack, automatic watering system for 18 pins. Each pin will have an individual cutoff system with quick connect fittings. Pinning system, there's 18 5 by 6 interior pins, 18 6 by 16 exterior pins, one 5 by 6 wash rack with overhead gate, LB white heating system, total $108,500. Everything in it as far as what yeah, you that's sent pretty out much how bid. we that, well, that's what we that's what you sent out. That's what we sent out. That's what basically what we bid off of or, or got bids for. So he took our specs and made it yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> 30 by 50, you said it says 50 30 by 120. 30 by 120. Anybody have any questions on that? <clears throat> Sounds pretty reasonable, honestly, for what, for what it is. What's your recommendation, Mr. Mr. Tackett? I've got to uh, get some paperwork, apparently, from the uh, from an architect group on it uh, to get it okay with the state. But I'm my uh, thoughts on this since uh, Mueller Building that uh, it's already been designed by an it's architect. Already been designed by an architect. So that they say. Yeah. So I think that's going to, I mean, that's a hoop I'm going to have to jump through, but as far as the price and, and uh, 
I think Mr. Uh, Merriweather's looked at something very similar to this that these guys have already built. Uh, I know that that's what the uh, Drummond guy does. Is this put according to what Gosney wants? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yes. Basically, Gosney went around and found what he wanted and found who built them and kind of put this together. I move we accept Dakman's bid for the livestock market. Second. Is it Axman or Dak? Axman. 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 Second. Don seconded. Uh, Clint, how do you vote? Yes. 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 Number six, vote to approve or reject a bid for the construction of, that's what we did. Okay, number seven, all of the following items will be approved by one vote unless any board member desires to have a separate vote on any of the, or all of these items. Consent agenda consists of discussion, consideration, and approval of the following items, A through H. Okay, basically we had a special meeting to and, uh, approve the estimate of needs. Uh, so that's been that's been taken care of. Uh, we sent our paperwork into the State Department, so that's all covered. Uh, looked at spending patterns this morning, and uh, we're we're basically right on line with what we spent this time last year. So uh, you know we're a little ahead. A little ahead, but we bought a new bus too, so that that wipes out my excess. So uh, the uh, gross production uh, is is down from last year, but it's it's up from the year before and the year before that again. And you know, just I'll just keep monitoring that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, the last the last two years we we. Our budget has been under our ad valorem and other monies, so we haven't actually spent gross production money. That's been kind of carryover, so, you know, uh, very, very well off financially. Make a motion to approve. Do you have a second to approve the uh, consent agenda? Second. Don, how do you vote? Yes. 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 Okay, other reports, Superintendent? Okay, uh, I, I put a, uh, sometime I just talk about, but I put an enrollment uh, form on your on the desk, or it might be in your packet, but uh, you know, just kind of showing you, pretty been pretty consistent since school started. Um, started with 255 and then September, October, November, 260, 261, 260, so uh, probably probably pretty stable because normally when you if you get through uh, October your numbers are normally uh, pretty solid so that's you know I, I don't I don't know that there'll be a whole lot that we'll lose or a whole lot that we'll gain uh, if you look at uh, past years and normal school situations once you get through October it's uh, it usually stays pretty much on course uh, I've got uh, two different uh, groups of architecture coming in the next two weeks. Thursday, CUR 3 Design will be here. I'm going to show them our list of facilities and get them start, start talking about that. Uh, then the following Thursday, Boynton Williams, which we I know you guys have met, Clarence Williams and, and uh, those guys, they'll be here. Uh, again, I'll, I'll give them my list and, and you know if there's anything that you guys in the next couple of weeks need to think of. But, they need to start looking around. They need to start looking at some of the problems I know we're going to have, and and uh, and and start putting together their their things so we can move on with this and make sure we don't get in mess timeline wise. Uh, if you follow me down here, let's look at the seats. They're not done, but the, but you're going to get a good idea of what's going to happen. And 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 we've decided to add a couple of things since Friday, so they're going to have to come back and do a little work. But we wanted some changes after we got them kind of. About done. Uh, no, yeah. what do you, I mean, oh, yeah, 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 no, that's just a automatic. But, okay, they, uh, we don't have the pad, these are supposed to be padded seats. Anyway, uh, they'll bring the pads in here and 
and that's that's the way they always are. They don't come with the pad on there. I guess at some time they put the pads on whether they're here or not. And we're still pushing, and I'm still calling and driving about getting those seats here so we can get them mounted. But a, a group will come in and put the padded seats on. What I was talking about, and they're not finished, so there's trim work that goes you know, right here and, and the steps, but it'll, they should be finished and out of our way tomorrow if, if they get here and get to work. But what I was saying, right now, this is as far back as they, well, they go back to about right here. And Mr. Green and I wanted them to go back farther, so we started quizzing them. And we can make them go back farther, but I'm going to have to, you see how they have these little uh, dampers on here? They're going to come back in and put dampers on that back row so that back row will fold and not slam. Right. I mean, I can fold them down right now, and I can move them back, but they're going to—they're not going to just ease down. But this will still go underneath, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, this this is pulled out right now. So they'll be, they'll they'll all be straight up and down. Yeah, back, back whenever it's done. When I was going to go back. Yeah, they'll all be just like that, back in there. This row's pulled out right now, but uh, we're going we're going to move them back to where the front edge of this is about right at the wood back there, like the old so one used to that, be. That. Yeah. Oh. So, so it'll be flush, but anyway, they've got to come and, and I, where do we find that trim at? Uh, it's right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. This right here is what, this front piece is what they don't have on everything, this trim. So they're going to cover all that up. And they should get, they should be done tomorrow. And then, uh, and then they'll have to come, and they're going to have to come back because they had to order these dampers for the back row. But uh, anyway, it's it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice when it's all uh, when it's all finished. And they should hopefully this is the steps, and hopefully they'll get the steps and the trim put on tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, do what? Is it better than the boards? And once we get the pads, it'll be even better. But you could sit in there right there. You know, I went to Moreland this weekend, and I don't think the Moreland chairs are quite as wide as they're not bad. But, it, you know, sitting there for a couple of ball games, it's, it's just okay. But, but these are nice. And once once they fold, or once they run these out, you've got you've got ample room between the seats. Your knees aren't in the back of the guy's head either. So it's going to be nice. It'll be nice. But, uh, yeah, I think there's four places that they, I think there's four handicap slots. Anyway, it's, it's slow, but it's getting there. Maybe, maybe they'll finish it tomorrow and get us a, get those floors cleared. And then when the other dampers come in, they'll be in Kansas and they'll come down and uh, add dampers to the top row and we can move them back of another probably 15 inches. Because right now they just really go right behind the backboard. You know, it would work, but it wouldn't, it's not ideal. It'll be, there's, there's Is there room. a spot there? See, those are out over there, too. So there's that much room between the inline and the front row. Oh, so you'll actually have them on the front row, yes. the sport table? I think that's how that's, But yeah, that's designed for the score table to be over on that side. comments on the bus and uh, we drove it a couple of times and it seems to be pretty nice. I couldn't find a button on it the other day so I sent, uh, sent Mr. Smith out there and he, he found, my, found my problem, got that taken care of. So we're getting all the little bells and whistles found on it. And it's, Mr. Merriweather's drove it to a football game and I drove it to a scrimmage so didn't have any problems. Kids like it. Did you call him and ask him about that one piece that Clint had found that, that was off of it? That, 
rubber piece on that. Oh, that rubber yeah. piece on yeah. that deal. Yeah, I've I told him I've got to. Uh, I, I talked to Justin, and uh, uh, he said that he would have his part guy call me because he didn't understand really what it was. So uh, we'll order. Now I had to order a hubcap because the hubcap fell off before we even got it home the first day. But they got that to me pretty quick, so they'll they'll, they'll get it taken care of. And the radio doesn't work. It doesn't work. But we haven't figured out how to use it. We don't mean not. But the, I had two girls try to get it to go in, and I, in, which if I can't get it going, that's no big deal. But one uh, of them was my daughter, so it's probably the radio just doesn't know how to be operated. Well, it could be. Yeah, but two of the girls couldn't get it to come on either, so I'm kind of thinking maybe the radio doesn't work, which is not that big of a problem to me. But uh, <laughs> anyway, anything else? Mr. Mayweather. I just add that, uh, of course, school's going along like it should. Uh, we'll wait to see what happens this Friday. Our boys still might be in the playoffs. Uh, Tyrone beat the Sheriff Mutual, so that'd be a feather in their cap if we get to, to go play another round, which would probably be at Cranfield. But uh, it'd still be nice to be in the playoffs. So What has, but, what has to happen in order for them to make it? Tyrone has to beat Sheriff Mutual this week. Then it'll be a three-way tie, and then we will get into the playoffs because of points. Three-way ties, not head-to-head. -head, it's points. Yeah. So. So we're still a, we still have a shot, but we need to we need to go cheer on Tyrone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is the game? Is the game at Sheriff? Is that Sheriff? Is that all you have, Mr. Murray? Yes. Okay. Uh, number nine presentation of the annual dropout report for 14-15 school year. Just make a comment that we had no dropouts. Okay, number 10, discussion and possible action to approve a stipend for certified and or support staff. Okay, you know, last year at this time we gave a stipend uh, to the uh, regular staff and support mm -hmm. staff and, uh, you know, financially we're, we're in very good shape to do it again. Uh, you know, we, we have a good crew, I think. Uh, I think we get a lot done. You know, we're, we're two people down on support staff and still, or actually three people down on support staff and still being able to provide all the services I think we've had in the past. Uh, you know, as far as your uh, uh, teachers and, 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 and your administrator, uh, again, we, they were a four point uh, high school and four point grade school, uh, you know, we can argue the the merits of the uh, system and if it's a good system or a bad system, but it's a system that we're all uh, trying to compete against and, and work towards. And you know, for the past four years that, uh, that I'm I'm sure aware of, uh, our scores have been uh, fantastic. So. Uh, you know, like again, the finances there, the staff does a good job there. None of nobody's paid too much. Uh, it's a welcomed thing for them at Christmas. It's a, uh, you know, I know motivation's been talked about at this place, you know, a couple of different times, and uh, uh, I promise they uh, they really uh, really do look are appreciative of that when they when they get that that's a that's a big deal at, at a time of year when families could could use a little and like I say we're we're in good shape and I think they earned something do you have something in mind or is it you're going to look at it and see what you want to do well I'm I know that we could we could do the same that we did last year and it wouldn't be you know wouldn't be any kind of a problem do you have that number in front of you where you look at it uh sense? yep I do. Hang on just a second because I don't have that right. That's what I thought. Okay. Being bumped down a couple people. 
Last year we paid two thousand and we paid twelve fifty. Oh, or, no, no, we paid two thousand and thousand last year. Thank you, Brian. Valid point. We're down a couple on the support staff. Maybe we ought to take a little better care of them. Right now, Alva's paying twenty five hundred to the teachers, and they're paying. I don't know for a fact, but, I th but I've heard they're paying twelve fifty to support staff. They're paying twenty five hundred to the teachers. And they paid them a thousand dollar signing bonus too. So some of their teachers got thirty five hundred dollars. Is that a new teacher? First year only, or every year? no? Everybody. Hmm. Wow, well, the first year when they signed on. That's what I mean. Yeah, oh, I don't know about their first year people, but I, no. But which were you're saying you're the sign on sign bonus bonus. when they If you they stay, get... they gave you a thousand dollars. Okay. Oh, okay. So each year they're giving them. And if you go if you go twelve fifty and twenty five hundred you're just talking you're talking hundred thousand dollars total total with benefits because I put a thirty for benefits too. Is that what you is that what your suggestion is? Is twelve fifty and twenty five hundred? I think the way our finances are right now, I think that's a I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Motion. Motion. Yeah. Yeah. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Andy, how do you vote? Yes. 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 Thank you. I know they will appreciate it. Yeah. Any new business? One piece of new business. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Green wanted to know if he could have a meet the rails night spaghetti or pancake dinner between November 15th and December 1st. Uh, I'll help him, the girls will help. Uh, we'll, we'll fix some kind of supper, spaghetti or pancake dinner is what he said and uh, estimated fundraiser $1,000. Why is that the, new business? Well, because he didn't turn it in till today. <laughs> he didn't ask till today. So, and if we do it in December, it's going to be, I mean, I can't get it done before the board meeting, next board meeting, so that's just what I got. I'll be able to approve it. Second. Second. Yes. 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 Um, let's go to adjourn. One more thing, did you want to bring up the security system or any of that? Uh, yeah, I can, I can go back to that, yes. <coughs> Probably should have done that on my report, but I guess that's all. That's not going to file anything up. It's not bugging on anything. Okay, we, uh, Mr. Mayweather's talked to the security system a couple of different times, uh, and and I had visited with uh, Mindy. She had a couple of questions. Uh, at El Reno, I think one of the big questions was what's going to happen on if electricity goes out. At El Reno, and you know, El Reno is a lot bigger system than we got, we have. They've got three people with keys, so you know that's what we would do. We would take up the keys, and that way, uh, if you're not going to be able to manipulate getting in the building or letting somebody else get in the building, it's not supposed to, uh, because your, your card's going to have to be used. Uh, the battery backup is. Uh, if the electricity goes up, you still have a battery backup for four hours, and uh, and when they hook up this system, there will be two different uh, intercom systems, so they can call, you know, they can try to get Lori to let them in, or or they can let this office let them in, or they can let the other office let them in. So it's not just we wouldn't. Now we would have to have someone in in an office all the time, but you know that's that's probably a minor minor detail trying to. You know, because there always is, because the phones are the same way. We've always got somebody answering the phones, so uh, that's really not not that big of a problem. But take the keys up and lock the building up. Only use your card. We know who's in here and who's, who's when when they're in here. And and uh, you know, if electricity does goes off, go off. That's not that's not a problem. We can still get in the building and get around, and everybody do what they're supposed to do.
Anybody have any questions on that?